evil in our jobs, evil in our schools, evil in the White House. Yeah. Have mercy, Jesus. Yeah. Evil in the city hall. Yeah. Evil in the streets. And last but not least, we got evil even in the church. Yeah. And most of all, the scariest facet of it all is people have no respect for God. They have no respect for God's church, nor God's preacher. There was once a time when you walked past the church, you took off your hat. You wouldn't spit on the church ground, and you couldn't smoke on the church ground. There was once a time when people were afraid to curse in the church. Now they'll cuss you out on the front bench. <laughs> they have no respect for God. We use the name of the Lord our God in vain. And we have these captions and euphemisms and emojis like OMG. Because we have no respect for God. We have no respect for his preacher. The man of God. There was once a time when people would invite the preacher to their house to come and eat. They would pray for the preacher. Now they just talk about the preacher. There was once a time when you couldn't talk about somebody's past. They would fight for their past. They would really go off on you about their past. Now we don't do that for the preacher anymore. And the church has been mother of God. People both inside and outside the church have become wicked, demoralized, and are strayed away from God. The Bible says there shall come a time when there will be a great falling away from the church. Now I understand that there's a falling away, but I'm also having enough common sense to understand that there's a pushing away. People are falling away, but I found out that the church is pushing some people away. What are you talking about? Pushing away? We push people away with our religious traditions that have nothing to do with the Word of God. We push people away when we're so concerned about what they have on rather than what's in their heart. We can worry about what they have on later on, but it's best for us to get them in here. See, you can't clean a fish until you call it. Come to help me right here. People in low places People in high places are full of evil because they don't want to hear from God. Billy Graham once said, we live in a society where everyone has an opinion but God. And the reason we don't know what God is saying is because we don't read the Bible. You come to church and you find very few people who have a Bible. Christians don't carry Bibles. It's like police officers without guns. For the Bible is the weapon of our warfare. If you don't have your weapon, you'll be vulnerable to the enemy. We ought to saturate ourselves in the Word of God. That's why we have so many Christians committing suicide. Christians jumping off the bridges and blowing their heads out because we're not saturated in the Word. Even if you don't read your Bible, the other option is for you to hear the Word of God. How do you 
here, the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It says how can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach unless he be sent? In order to hear the preacher, you have to go where the preacher is. And the preacher is not on your living room sofa. The preacher is at the church. The Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me, and if I will read us in here, let us go into the house of the Lord. There's joy in God's house. There's peace in God's house. There's deliverance in God's house. What you can't find at your house, you can find it in God's house. That's why some of us get excited when it's time to go to church. See, some of y'all come to church, y'all boot it up and round up. But some of us get excited when we come to church. But we, we know that when I get to God's house, I got some blood I can lay down. When I get to God's house, the choir is going to sing a song that's going to lift my spirit. When I get to God's house, the demon is going to pray and everything that was bothering me before. It won't bother me later on when I get to God. But with all the evil around us, and with the straying away from godliness. It's good news to know. Amen. Yeah. Hey, it's good news yeah. to know that God will take care yeah. of the righteous. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. That's why you don't have to worry about Donald Trump. Not all Trump today. Yeah. I'm now running up to worry about this idiot in the White House. Yeah. Oh, but when you know God, the earth is alone. Y'all gonna have me right here. The fool is there. I ain't got to worry about the economics. I ain't got to worry about the system. God, take care of me. Y'all gonna help me right here. God is my help. The Lord is my temple. I tell my Lord. He's making me to lie down and bring pastor. He's leading me beside the still water. He restored my courage. He ain't no all up through the valley and the shadow of death. I will feel no evil, but thou art with me. Thy rod and my staff, you're going to help me right here. They come for me, and I'll prepare the table. And the panels of my youth, thou anointed my hair with my Three people who can say that I've seen the likeness 